Calls a sort of uh, kind of hybrid cobbled together from the wrecks of the past. So, uh, so this is the beginning of it. And I, you know, it, it, it's obviously over the top, but this, this is, it, it's like it playing with mixing, mixing and matching and putting stuff together. But they'll, ha they'll have to be very high performance because the film is shot at speed, and they have to be very, very safe because there's it's huge. The reason this movie's so big has got just a huge number of stunts. And we're trying to do stuff that uh, that I, I believe people haven't done before, and and uh, and and so everything. That's why we're taking so long to build them. It'll take a year to build all the vehicles, and they'll have to be just really, really top vehicles. Um, you know, we 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 want to nudge the the genre a little bit, and uh, it was 30 years since we made the earlier ones, and the world has changed since then, and cinema has changed since then, and action movies have changed since then, so we, we're really sort of trying to figure out the best way that we can really sort of lift the bar a little bit. I'm, I'm, still, uh, I'm still in the middle of casting, uh, despite all the stuff that we see in the net and so on. I don't even know who the final cast is going to be. We, we've been casting fairly furiously over, over the last uh, six or seven weeks. Uh, and and it's, it's, I've got a lot of actors to see yet, and so no decision's been made. And but somehow, you know, every week or so, there's rumours about various people, and so I, it, it would be silly of me to even speculate who the cast would be until I get through the process. No but when that happens, when that actually happens, obviously we'll let everybody, everybody know. Is Mel Gibson an option? They're, everyone's an option. There's <laughs> lots of wonderful, wonderful actors out there. We've got some of the best in the world. Some of the problems is, is they don't work in this country. They basically, this is the big problem. This is what's significant. This is the real message of all of this. The problem with production, since I've been in it for 30 years, is it goes like this. And each time there's a trough, the cream of our actors, our directors, our behind-the-scenes people, all of our technicians get siphoned, over, uh, siphoned off overseas. There's a massive talent drain. And they're desperate to come back and work here. But there's not the jobs. So the key to it is not just Mad Max. It's Happy Feet as well. So we can actually try to keep about three, four, five years of production going so people can make their, make their, <coughs> their, their homes here with some degree of certainty. And the proof of it is Wellington, New Zealand. Mm. Wellington, New Zealand has a, is a tenth the size of Sydney and has the best talent pool in the world. It's because they've had sustained production for over 15 years now. It started with Xena and Hercules, it went into the Narnias and the Lords of the Rings and the King Kongs. Now Steven Spielberg's down there with Peter Jackson doing Tintin. Uh, Tintin. Avatar was down there, the biggest science fiction movie ever made. You've got Guillermo del Toro, the Spanish, uh, Mexican director down there. It's, it, it, these, if you can get these productions going, they, there's a gravitational pull that brings all the talent in. And with that, the, the younger filmmakers who learn their skills uh, have a chance to really, really work. And this is the big mistake we've made in this country. I believe we've been too lazy with the overview and, 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 and thinking intermittent filmmaking is going to be the problem. It can't be intermittent. It has to be sustained. And as I keep saying, you can't play football you can't develop a good football team if you only run up to the field once in a blue moon.